What's up, everyone, and welcome back to the Stocks with Mike and Tom show. We have a lot to talk about today. We're going to be covering Tesla earnings, what's going on in the market right now, and some other big news with PayPal and Pinterest. We have a ton of great plays today, so make sure you guys stick around to the end of today's video. Like I said, a lot of great plays and a lot of great news, and let us know what stocks you are watching in the comments down below, so then we can cover them in tomorrow's video, but I would say the the biggest thing from today is Tesla earnings and they were pretty good for the most part but they're kind of uh not really doing anything in the after hours yeah they're not really doing too much at all pretty flat kind of like what we saw with Netflix with their earnings yesterday and you can see Netflix ended up kind of coming down and opening pretty low down here so hopefully Tesla doesn't do that tomorrow but right now they are down slightly even though they had pretty good numbers they reported a 1.86 EPS versus a 1.57 estimate which is pretty good. And the sales, they reported 13.76 billion versus a 13.63 billion estimate. So it seems like they beat on both of those numbers, which is great. And they previously reported pretty good delivery numbers with their vehicles. They delivered 241,300 electric vehicles and produced around 237,000 during September. So that's pretty good numbers there. And it seems like overall, their earnings have gone pretty well. You know, they also said they're going to continue to ramp up their Gigafactory in Shanghai and build new capacity in Texas and Berlin. And they just talked about a lot of good stuff for the future. So it seemed like pretty good earnings. But like we always say, earnings are such a gamble. And we can see right now they're not really doing much of anything. For sure. So the main thing is it's good to see that their sales rose. And at the same time, uh, the chip shortage isn't affecting them as much as a lot of other companies, like especially like General Motors and Ford. So that's great to see. But in terms of like the stock performance, Tesla is kind of just flat in after hours. It's not really going up and it's not really going down, but we are still pretty early into the release. So definitely keep it on your radar for tomorrow. But as of right now, it seems like it's priced in. Um, but I know that Tesla and Bitcoin kind of moved together a little bit and Bitcoin is just going through the roof. Yeah, Bitcoin is going crazy. They actually hit a new all-time high today of 67,000 and that's a pretty good number. Uh, we know that Bitcoin ETF just came onto the market under ticker BITO and it seems like Bitcoin is getting a huge boost from that news. And it's just, it's overall just really good news for cryptocurrency in general. It shows that it's being implemented more into society. And overall, it really helped Bitcoin get up today to new all time highs of 67,000. People are also talking about Ethereum quite a bit, which also had a very great day today. And they're actually just under their all time high. So I would, I would pretty much expect these to continue to kind of break out over the next couple of days. And hopefully, Bitcoin keeps running up with this awesome momentum that we're seeing. There we go. So it's great to see that, you know, like you mentioned, um, the Bitcoin ETF has been uh, definitely uh, pretty good for Bitcoin overall. So I'm definitely a fan of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, just be careful playing the Bitcoin ETF, though, because it will not and it's not even supposed to follow the spot price of Bitcoin. But all in all, it's good to see this great momentum. And then, Tom, we have to talk about what's going on with Pinterest today. So um, I know that they had a little bit of uh, some talks with Pay PayPal, what's going on there? Yeah, they actually had a very explosive move up in the middle of the day. They even got halted there for a few minutes. And then you can see how much volume came into them for those couple minutes there, rising from $56 all the way up to $66 within just two minutes. And that's pretty crazy to see. But they're actually in late stages, late stage talks to be acquired by PayPal. And this is uh that's being reported by CNBC, but Overall, this is going to be awesome news for them. We know PayPal is an awesome company. And you can see PayPal actually had a pretty bad drop this morning on this news because generally the company paying the money um, is generally going to take a short-term drop, kind of like what we saw with DraftKings a while ago. And now we're seeing it happen with PayPal. And it's happened a lot in the past. But overall, Pinterest is taking a huge boost uh, with this news. And overall, that's really good. And you would think that in the end here, PayPal being such a, a crucial and large company out there, um, acquiring them, that's awesome news for Pinterest. And that's probably exactly why it went up 12.7% with this explosive move. But it might be pretty hard for this one to continue up tomorrow or for the next few days. But that is amazing news. 
You know it. So the main thing is if the deal goes through or not. At the time of this recording, the deal is not official. But if it does go through, depending on the terms, uh, people are expecting Pinterest to be worth around $70 a share. So, you know, if, if you think the deal might go through, Pinterest might be a stock to buy, but it all depends. And there's a lot of variables with this situation. But definitely keep Pinterest on your radar because it is up 13%. And, you know, whenever we hear news about about, you know a merger or, or an acquisition there's normally a lot of crazy movement with that so definitely keep that in mind and then Tom I also want to talk about Tilray really quick uh, yeah really quickly um, this stock had an amazing day yesterday and even though it didn't finish green today I feel like uh, it's not a bad thing you know it had such crazy explosive movement yesterday um, I feel like it just held its ground and I think that's a good thing for a, a stock like Tilray yeah, and they bounced right off that $10 psychological level a couple of days ago, too. And they're just holding up very nicely. And that news with uh, the California governor signing off that bill uh, yesterday with the marijuana bill was very good. And I think that's just going to help the industry overall. And hopefully more states start doing the same thing California did, because that was honestly a pretty big turnaround in Tilray stock. And like we kind of talked about yesterday, hopefully that's the spark that the marijuana sector needs because they've just been getting hammered down over the past couple months. And it's always good to see some legalization type of news come out. I know that they've, that there's been pretty big talks of that over the past couple of years. So hopefully we start to see some serious implementation of that. Good stuff. So definitely keep Tilray on your radar. And then let's get right into today's member of the day, which is SC2020. So huge shout out SC2020. Uh, thanks for being a great member of the Stocked Up Discord. And thanks for all of the support on YouTube. I know you join the streams a lot too. So thank you so much for all the support. Tom and I really, really appreciate it. And now Tom, it is time for our Momentum Plays for tomorrow and with the first one we have corsair to the upside yep and with corsair go ahead and make them break out above 2580 sounds great and then with the next one we have baidu also to the upside yep and with bidu make them break above 18260 and then last but not least we have ford to the upside yeah i heard they actually got upgraded today but make them break 1616 which is their high of day and i think ford and gm are both setting up pretty nicely for tomorrow Awesome. So we are watching these three plays for potential day trades to the upside tomorrow, but only if they break above the levels Tom listed. They have a lot of momentum and they're not looking too bad on the charts. So also keep these ones on your radar and let's get right into these comments from the previous video. We have Shelly saying, what's your favorite crypto other than Bitcoin? So um, for me, I really like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and I've heard good things about ADA, which is our card, which is Cardano. Um, so ADA, USD, I heard a lot of good things about it. I did not invest into them yet. It's just for me, uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. How about you, Tom? Yeah, I, I actually like, uh, hold on, I want to pull up ADA on the daily chart really quick. But yeah, look at ADA actually having a pretty good move there. That actually looks pretty good. But one of my favorites besides just the regular ones, I would generally just go for the bigger ones like crypto and Ethereum, kind of like what Mike said. One that I've heard some good stuff about is XRP, which is going to be, um, well, well, just XRP pretty much. Uh, I, I honestly have heard some pretty good stuff and it looks like they're moving pretty decently. You can see I was looking at them actually a long time ago, Mike, back whenever they were at like 15 cents. I wish I would have picked some up then, but you know, it looks pretty good for the future. And generally if like Bitcoin and Ethereum fly, a lot of these smaller ones will go up too. So hopefully we just see them all continue to fly up. Exactly. So, you know, Ripple's been doing pretty good too. I know they had a little bit of a, a rough uh, past couple of years or so, but it's not looking bad. And just to confirm, Tom, you said like your uh, top two favorites are like Bitcoin and Ethereum, right? Yeah, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Ripple is more of like a risky one. It's just, uh, I would generally stick with the main two, Bitcoin and Ethereum. I think that's going to be the main two there. I haven't actually looked at Ripple in a, in a long time, but it looks like they have been recovering up pretty good over the past couple months at least. There we go. So then with the next comment, we have Miller saying, can you guys take a look at OSTK? So absolutely. And I was looking at this one before the video and I'll tell you, it actually looks pretty good. Yeah, it really does. It, the daily is actually really nice here. It's coming up. There is earnings actually on October 28th. So be very careful of that. But it looks like in the short term, it definitely has a lot of momentum. I love the way the green candle closed up at, up at the top today. Really is coming up on some resistance around 84 to 85 dollars so be a little wary of that but i feel like uh, we could have a pretty nice pop-up tomorrow morning 
Awesome. And then we have uh, Elijah saying, can you please take a look at EVFM? So EVFM, this is the first time I heard about this company. It is a penny stock. We don't really trade them too much. Looking at their chart, it looks pretty rough. Um, I don't really trade penny stocks anymore, so it's definitely not for me. Of course, they can pop up, but with these types of setups, you just need some like big news or you need like a short squeeze or you know something to like light the fire and, and start that uptrend. But as of right now, I don't really like it and it's not for me. Yeah, me either. It's just a very low price stock. It's at 71 cents. You can see over the past year, it's just gotten beaten down. So it might have a pop up in the short term and it might be good you know, if you just want to trade it for just a couple of days or something, but I would stay, I would stay away and just go with something safer. All right. And then we have DPW saying, what do you think of CGC stock? So this is one of those MJ plays. I like it, but um, it's not like uh, great for a long-term investment right now, in my opinion. Of course, things can change, but I think it has a lot of potential for the short term, like especially when you see stocks like Tilray popping off. So they're definitely on my radar and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it uh, popped up pretty soon. Yeah, I think it's a good time personally to start grabbing shares for the longer term if you like these companies for the long term. But a lot of them are just, they've had a lot of fundamental problems over the past couple of years, as we can see by the CGC's chart. You know, they go on these huge runs and they have huge dips. And hopefully we're starting to get on that uptrend again. But we'll have to see the next couple of days. And I think the next couple of weeks will be uh, really shedding some light, I think, on how these MJ stocks are going to move over the next year. Yeah, like I definitely want exposure to MJ stocks for the long term, but out of all the companies I've researched, um, I just feel like they're not in great fundamental positions right now. So like, I'm definitely like, I definitely have it on my watch list, but for me, it's just like a short term play. Yeah. And the thing I do like is that the earnings are getting a little bit better. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we see some fundamental changes in the future. I know there's been lots of stuff with su supply problems and stuff like that too, because, you know, in Canada, whenever they legalize marijuana, everybody just started smoking it and they they honestly smoked it all like there was none left so it created a very weird scenario in that type of market and we'll have to see how those companies can kind of adapt and hopefully the u.s companies saw what happened in canada and hopefully that doesn't happen here whenever we finally legalize it yeah very interesting <laughs> very interesting so tom do you have any last minute stocks options or anything you are watching for tomorrow yeah, I'm really keeping my eyes on a lot of these banks. You know, Bank of America just broke out to all-time highs again today after having a couple of consolidation days uh, to, to, to kind of start the week off. It's just really good to see them kind of breaking out. Really nice moves out of them, JP Morgan, and just bank stocks in general. I know Goldman uh, actually had a red day, which was pretty interesting, but Bank of America and, and JP Morgan are doing awesome, which is uh, great. And then I'm also eyeing up GLD. I know they had a pretty nice move up today. And on the daily chart, GLD got, they, they bounced off that 160 support a, a few weeks ago, and they look like they're uh, back on the uptrend here. So we'll have to see what happens, but the metals are looking pretty good. Good to see that. So again, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you are an options trader, definitely check out the first link in the description and the comments down below. We have a coupon sale running. You get daily options, swing trades, day trades, access to a ton of different custom bots, and basically direct access to Tom and myself. Uh, the plays have been going pretty well lately. Of course, not every single play wins, but like I said, generally speaking, it's been pretty hot. And uh, even if you want to try it out just for one month, you you can cancel at any time. Again, we have a coupon running right now. The coupon is all like automatically applied to the link uh, in the comments and the description down below. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Let us know what stocks you are watching in the comments down below. Other than that, thanks for watching.